At a time of soaring demand and sky-high gas prices, a one-time forgotten child of the energy industry is growing up and gaining attention. Solar energy is hot, and Wall Street is taking notice, as we hear from Tony Guida. Here's tonight's trivia question. What state has installed more solar panels than any other except California? If you said New Jersey, your solar energy IQ is brilliant. And if you know why several thousand huge mirrors are splayed across the Mojave Desert in California, consider yourself a solar energy genius. Every single day when the sun comes up, we are bathed with enough energy in one day to supply all the power we need for five years across the globe. Are you really doing it this way? Lyle yeah. Rawlings has been making a living off that Start fact that, for yeah. 25 years. He's known as the godfather of solar in New Jersey. His company's installation of solar panels on this warehouse roof will provide 90% of the facility's power. But the technology doesn't come cheap. Solar power is more expensive than fossil fuel power. So our business actually depends on government subsidies. So does the oil business and the coal business, the nuclear industry too. But the outlook for solar power is brighter than any of those established technologies. General Electric estimates its solar energy division will bring in more than a billion dollars in annual revenue in three years. J.P. Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo are investors in the biggest solar plant built in a generation. Solar is the one technology that is decreasing in price, increasing in opportunity, and can become a key part of the solution if we make the right strategic investments today. Which brings us back to those mirrors in the Mojave Desert. No less a cutting-edge giant than Google is heavily invested in similar technology for turning sunlight into power. Betting, just as is New Jersey's godfather of solar, that this country must build a vibrant solar industry before oil and coal run out. For us in the solar industry, the holy grail is the point at which the cost of solar power is about equal to the cost of fossil fuel power. Experts say that should happen in seven to ten years, and by 2025, one report concludes, solar can provide 10 percent of the nation's power needs. But that all depends on the government. The sun sets on tax credits for solar energy later this year. Tony Guida, CBS News, New York.